And we're up to number three. And number three is the reveal of Yan Mitor. Now, I really like this scene because, and a lot of people actually like the Spoon Spoonie specifically enjoyed this scene too, because it kind of felt like it had a very, very, you know, Doctor Who-ish feel to it, especially given the fact that Doctor Who, at least the remake series of Doctor Who, wouldn't come out for another 10 years. But this, series, but this scene actually was very much about, um, you know, he can't get through the door, go away, he just shoots the door, he comes in, you know, Owen basically is like not going to stop if he get, until he gets the answers that he wants. The ide you know, his, his identity, who he is, and everything else. And he just doesn't know, and you're just the player. So he's finding out along with the players. Yeah, and my tour is a great scene, but what really, really, you know, leveled this up for me, and for me personally, was that you hear Clive Owen swear for the first time. At the very end of the scene, when, when uh, Yen Mitor dies, uh, before he can give the information that, he, that I want, you, you want to hear, like about his father, um, Clive Owen does a very, very heartfelt just explanation of the word shit. And you'll see it in just a second. This is the first time I ever heard swearing in a video game. I, I, you know, I, was, I grew up on Jedi Knight and everything else, and I was like, oh, they don't swear in video games. And then I heard this guy say shit. And I'm like, oh, this is something else. This is this is something else. This is this is, and, and it's not very actually. There's not much much swearing in the game, so you could you know it, it's not like it over blew the, the the exclamation. It was really. I mean, you would have said the same thing in that position. It was it really humanized the character, especially even given the fact that it was an alien universe you weren't familiar with. Having um, having human characters was definitely worth it, and that is why it is number three. Speak to us, Sir Jan Mitor, please. No, go away. Begone. The pod, you mad old bastard. The one that went down in the Canera. Canera? You mean Malika didn't... <laughs> what do you want of us now? I want to know where that pod was before it was put on board the Canera when I was put in it. Why are you asking me these things? I'm not supposed to know them. I'm supposed to have forgotten them. Well, remember those things. Now! Kappa <laughs> Labs. Kappa, Kappa, damn you. Now go, leave us alone. Give me the coordinates. But you know, it's out in the scatter belt. Listen, it was all so long ago, but it was all right, the part worked. Just, just tell me what you want. Who put me in the pot? Go to Kappa Labs, you will see. If I open my mouth, you know what they'll do. You know better than most. My heart, my heart, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't. Your father, he would, he, he said. Father, what about my father? What about my father? And we're up to number two, and uh, for the next two, I just want you guys to know that there is a factor in uh, both of these next two videos that um, basically elevated these two videos to the top, um, and it was very tough between the two of them. 
But I've decided that number two is going to be uh, David Hassan's uh, introduction. And there is one very, very good reason why this is so important, and there is a very good reason why the next one is very important. Because David Hassan is played by Christopher fucking Walken. I could have used a little more cowbell. <laughs> This is why it is number two. This way. This is not a place I ever wanted to see the inside of. Why should you see the inside of Hades? Unless you're guilty of a crime. Am I being accused of something here? Not necessarily. Now look, I save your life. I choose to follow you down here. Now if you don't quit playing the man of mystery, I'm gonna get back on my ship and I'll take my own chances with whoever's trying to nail me. to tell you, Harris. I don't know how much you know. I don't know how much you're involved right now. I don't care. You could be the biggest cutthroat this side of New Bedlam, as long as you help me get the kindred. The kindred? Isn't that some kind of organized crime group? It's the organized crime group. Over the past 40 years, they've infiltrated every aspect of society. Commerce, government, law enforcement. On every planet known to man, they manipulate stock markets, planetary economies, politics. And anyone who tries to stop them, anyone who tries to get in their way, they're eliminated. That puts you in the firing line, I said. It's my job. That's all it is, a job. The man who runs the organization has stayed in the shadows for some time. But you tell me, Aris. You tell me about the man who runs the kindred. What am I supposed to know? He's clever, ruthless. Brilliant by all accounts, lavish with rewards to his faithful servants, brutal to those who aren't. Yeah, I think we've established that he's a powerful bastard. What's that to do with me? In the kindred organization, his name is Kronos. <laughs> CIS is at war with the kindred. It's a war you found yourself in the middle of. I don't want any part of it. I've got my own problems. You haven't begun to have problems. You cross me, you'll have problems. You're going to have to choose sides, Aris. Which brings us to the kindred operative known as Malachi. Yeah, look, maybe I knew him once. I had a crash. So we noticed. Memory loss. Unlucky or a good excuse. What's so important about Malachi? We think he's one of Kronos' top lieutenants, possibly his closest friend for many years. And he seems inordinately interested in you. Why? That's the question. Maybe he was the one who erased your personal records. Maybe he was the one trying to get you at the hospital to cry us. What's important is he's trying to get to you. And that means you can help us get him. Well, you want to use me as bait? Mm. We'll be doing each other a favor. No way. No, this is your crusade, Hussain. Who was it? A CIS partner? A lover? Who did the kindred kill this burn you so bad? It's got nothing to do with it. You're lying. You're right. There was someone. But that doesn't make taking a murderous dog like Malachi out of orbit any less important. Okay, I need extra weapon systems installed in my ship. A blind fire do? Absolutely. And I'll need files, a complete breakdown of everything you know about the Kindred. You got it. And I'll give you some passwords. Get you into the computers of a firm called Blessed Aquiline on Bex. You might find something of interest. What happens if the Bex police catch me snooping through their files? Um, don't let them. A CIS operative condoning breaking the law. I prefer to think of it as bending. Well, don't you have your own agents for this kind of thing? Never know who to trust in this business, Aris. It's a dirty war. They got moles inside the CIS. We got agents in their organization. We're getting the mushroom treatment. The mushroom treatment? Yeah, feed them shit. Keep them in the dark. Huh? <laughs> You'll find the files and passwords for Aqua One in your ship's computer. You should check out the business of a man called Hugo Carmichael. 
What happens when Cronus' people get to me? We won't be far behind. My boss, Schiller, and Abakov have been chasing Kronos a long time. We both want him bad. We can get to him through Malachi. And when I'm through with all this? Maybe by then, you'll know who you are. Be able to make your own choice. Walk, baby.